Hello, I'm so glad you could join me today. If you're new to this channel, oh, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Guys, today I am on my way to Orlando. We are going to SeaWorld today to hang out. I, I said to Chad, so what are we going to do today? He said, let's just go to SeaWorld. So that's where we are going right now. We're on our way to SeaWorld. And I'm taking you guys along with me as I like to do. But before I go any further, I just want to say happy birthday, Barbados. On Monday was the 30th, um, November 30th, and Barbados celebrated independence on the 30th and um, it was 55 years of being independent so I just want to say happy independence it's a little bit you know it's a little bit late but I can still wish you happy independence since I didn't get to talk to you before happy independence but it was not just independence it was a very special day and guys I got to tune in and I just watched the whole thing online I was so excited I was just like glued to the computer okay so those of you who live in different parts of the world and I'm, I'm not sure Barbados just became a republic all right so they had a lot of celebration to do on Monday now because the Queen was removed as head of state from Barbados so Barbados is now a republic and for the first time they made history for the first time now they have a president Sandra Dane all right big up to Sandra Dane so I'm very excited listen Barbados is a little small island in the Caribbean and they've done something that Australia and Canada have not been able to do they have become a republic and I'm very excited about that okay so I just want to say congratulations I was watching oh and congratulations to Riri Barbados Rihanna but the Bajans call her Riri Riri I'm saying Riri Riri <laughs> Congratulations. So Riri, congratulations on being an ambassador to Barbados to Barbados. You deserve it. You deserve it. That is your home. You were born there, and that is wonderful. I'm very excited. Guys, Barbados have, for those of you who don't know, Barbados have the best prime minister, Mia Motley. I love that woman. Prime Minister of Barbados, Prime Minister Mia Motley. I am telling you right now, Mia Motley does not only represent Barbados, but she represents women throughout the world, okay? When you listen to this woman speaks, this woman, I mean, she don't need teleprompters like, you know, when you have the presidents and prime minister from different parts of the world, you see they have a teleprompter in front of them. So when they're looking, they're looking like they're looking at you, but they're looking at the teleprompter. And when they turn their head and they go this way, there's a teleprompter over there. And when they turn their head and go this way, there's a teleprompter. So they're reading, right? But me, I just have her phone sometimes or she have little notes and you see she just glances on um, her little notes every once in a while to get her points of where, what she's going to talk about. But this lady speaks from the heart and she speaks and she doesn't repeat herself. She just speaks. I just like, every time Mia is, is speaking, I am just glued to the TV or glued to the computer or whatever I'm watching it from to watch this lady speak. So it's like, who runs the world? Mothers. We all run this <laughs> I am telling women around this world, me and Molly, if they had more um, <clears throat> women that is able to run things, the way me and run things, I am telling this world would be a better world, okay? Because when you have over there, people, um, when we have, well, I would just say, they have more men that run the world, right? Presidents. Um, wherever through the world the men that run them but when you find that there's women running things it goes so smoothly it goes so good and smooth okay and that's what we need we need we don't need people men that's trying to invade other countries and stuff like russia and ukraine and all those places we need people like me that bring peace we need peace 
and that's what man brings, okay? So she represents women through the world. I'm telling you. I'm talking to you guys, God. I'm talking to you guys, because we have a long trip. So I've been end up doing this video two times, so bear with me, okay? <laughs> I went to Barbados a few years ago, okay? And I did not go to Barbados. It was like nine years or so before I had went to Barbados. A while before I went to Barbados. So I went home because my dad was in a hospital, was sick, which was, you know. So I went to Barbados. When I went home, guys, I was so shocked at what I had seen. I live, I come from South District and we live on top of the hill. And on top of the hill right next to our house, on the right hand side was a king ground. And from the time I was a little girl growing up, it was always cane in that ground planted. So whenever the cane cut, they replaced it with like yams or potatoes or something that they would plant, okay? And then for the year or so, when they dig that up, they go back to planting cane. So I think they did that like every two years or something like that, however they did it. But it was always planted. There was always stuff in there, always planted. When I went home, I was so shocked because there was no there was no kid planted in there people had their sheep grazing in there because there was grass in there people had their sheep in there there was there's a mechanic guy that lived you know in that area he was doing his mechanic work there in the campground okay there were he there were old trucks and stuff that were parked in there he was doing his mechanic work and i was like Guys, I was in shock. I was like, this is, you know, because where we live on top of the hill, there's a beautiful view of the valley. And you know, you don't recognize these things until you've gone for a while. You, then you recognize these things, right? You can you can stay from my house where I live and see Buckley, right? Buckley Factory. Because, you know, we can't run. Buckley Factory used to tell us what time it was, 8 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 12 o'clock. We used to get it time from the factory, right? But I was so surprised. But then I was driving going into St. Philip. And places that used to be cane ground used to be trees and bushes and tall because it, you know, the, the, the little bush turned into big trees and stuff. And I was looking at like houses that was not painted and stuff like that. And it was really surprising for me because I was not used to that in Barbados. You know, I know Bages are very proud of everything that I have. Bages are proud. So I, I was surprised at that. Then I went home again a few years ago when Mia got elected. I went back to Barbados because my mom, then I had to go back again because my mom, you know, my mom passed away. So I had to go back to Barbados again. When I went back to Barbados for my mother's funeral, I tell you no lie, I saw such a big difference. This will tell you it just take one person and just take that one woman to do what she did. I went back and I was driving my sister. And you know when you live in some place you don't really realize and recognize because you're so used to seeing certain things every day. And but when you go in for the first time when you've been away for a while then you recognize things right what I saw was such a big difference. I saw where I used to see the bushes and the trees and so that was in the cane ground, I saw uh, people plowing. Those were, I saw people plowing the land, right? To plant. They had some kind of um, program that was going on when it was there that was listening to where they uh, were training people or teaching people how to plow the land and how to work the land. And I think they were offering them like a certain amount of land a, a little bit of money per year or so uh, per month to pay for the land and then they work it and then they would help them to be able to sell the products and stuff like that the produce and so on but that was a difference it was a that was a few years ago but that was a small difference that I saw I haven't been there now in the past couple of years but I saw that those small changes in a couple of years time and a year a year later actually a year, a year later that I went to Barbados I saw those small changes so that's why I said it just take one me a monthly prime minister to just start making those changes and I know sometimes people you know get a little because they want things done everything done done overnight 
every, you know, things don't, people, when I was there, the first time people were complaining because the garbage wasn't being picked up and so on, then it started getting, you know, I mean, I don't want to go into all of that, but I saw the difference, and I'm sure Beijing's there now have seen the difference in that woman. That woman ran Barbados, and she does, she's doing such a fantastic job. When she was running, she said that, um, the first thing when she get elected she was gonna do is to give the pensioners to raise the pensioners pension and she did exactly that she raised it because my mother was able to um, get her pension raised and that was such a big difference such a big difference to those pensioners who have to pay a light bill or full bill or whatever bill that little bit it helped okay and she appreciated it and I appreciated it for her okay that I thought was I so that's what I'm saying I am not the type of person that goes crazy when you see celebrities oh, I am not that type of person but if there's one person that I would love to meet it is Mia Wantley Prime Minister of Barbados so guys Mia if you're watching this I want to meet you please 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 <laughs> I would love to meet Mia Wantley she is um my hero I would love to meet Mia she is my hero I mean I can't wait to come back to Barbados I just right now um, I'm doing everything local I'm not traveling anywhere because I really prefer not to get on a plane and go any place right now and, and so on but hopefully you know this virus hopefully we get rid of this virus soon so everybody can kind of get back to normal and uh, and I can come to Barbados. I miss you guys, Barbados. I miss Barbados. Okay, guys, we're here. We made it to Sea World. We, it's a pretty long line in here. Look at all those cars. Charles just paid for. We just got our ticket for parking. So this is the parking lot we're going to. Okay, guys. Oh, so we have preferred parking, guys. See the sign there says preferred parking. We've arrived, guys. We're here at SeaWorld. So we're still in the parking lot. We're about to go inside. And I'll take you along. watch it but I do not get on it oh my god it's scary guys look at the flamingos they look like statues they're just standing there but yeah I thought there were statues in the beginning right they're just standing there aren't they pretty OMG look at them some of them look like statues they look like statues yeah I thought there were statues in the beginning they're so pretty! Flamingos, guys. They guess they're resting, they're napping, they're standing on one foot. They're standing on one foot. Could you believe it? That skinny little foot. They are standing on one foot and they're fast asleep. The neck is like twisted. See how the neck is twisted around? On their back. I guess that's how they sleep. Their eyes are closed. That's cute. Yeah.
gift shop. Guys, this used to be my favorite popcorn. When I used to come here when my kids were little, I always bought this popcorn because I liked it. It was five bucks. I don't know how much it costs now. I can have to check, but I have to make sure before I leave here that I get a pack of popcorn. So I'll get that a little bit later because I'm not ready to eat it right now. But that's my favorite popcorn. It's caramel popcorn. Let's see. It says gourmet popcorn. And I always like this. And I always say, if there's anyone going to SeaWorld to get me some popcorn. I like that. I have to get a pack before I leave. Some black cake for you, 
if you want to join me in making the cakes go below and you will see the link go on that link to Airbnb register okay and I have a couple dates open I have some dates open it's gonna be 11 o'clock and another one will be at 4 o'clock in the evening just go ahead and register before the slots get all filled up because um, I can just take a limited amount of people because I want to be able to interact with everybody so I don't want to be too crowded so just a limited amount okay so go up there and register and let me know okay I look forward to this and I hope you guys can join me I'm all excited guys I had fun today and I had fun sharing this with you and I hope you guys have fun and I hope all of you can get out and do something um, you know that's not that far from home at least I hope you guys can go and enjoy the weekend as well. Until next time.